Right guys, welcome back to another video on uh, Mr. Junior Dev. Uh, this is CS50, uh, the season, the Caesar problem set. Um, I've done it previously, but uh, when I went to go have a look at my all my percentages, I uh, scored below the 70% mark. Uh, I assumed that the program was working accurately, so I'll leave that video. Uh, this is a difficult problem. It's not. It's not that simple. But anyway, uh, let's get back to it. I'm gonna redo it now, uh, but I'm gonna still leave that video up there for you guys if you just wanna see where I went wrong or anything like that. Okay. Anyway, guys, uh, and uh, I've already taken out. So what I've started off with is the CS50 libraries. A shorter library. Oh uh, yeah, standard io.h. Then uh, started off with int main and then array. Then if our count is not equal to two, if you guys were ever wondering what's our count, argument count. If you make an argument dot slash Caesar, then that's on argument count one, right? And then if you have an argument dot slash Caesar. Uh, space 10 that's at argument count 2 and this the same goes for dot slash caesar 10 uh, space 10 space 20 that's argument count 3 uh, argument vector is a vector of c strings so if you didn't understand what those terms mean that's what they mean um, it is a bit complex but we'll we'll get around it once you you see for me it was the same in the beginning it was like it was it was kind of complex, but uh, I sort of got around it. And like, once you start building the programs and practice and practice and practice, and, and uh, you have actual use cases for them, then it becomes easier. So that's what I've learned. Um, while you teach, you're learning at the same time. So this is very important. It's actually the best way to learn. Like you learn while you struggle and that way you learn much faster. So. Okay, all right, let's, let's check what we need to do here. So the first thing we're gonna do is, we're going to first check if the user provides exactly one command line argument. If true, print success. If false, print usage dot slash Caesar. Number two, validate that the key is an integer. If true, print success and the key. If false, print usage dot slash Caesar. Prompt the user for the plain text. Get the user's input. Print out the cipher text. This is supposed to be number four. Characters should be rotated based on the key. These characters are case sensitive, so upper and lower case should be maintained. Yeah. All these characters, variables, you name it, they all can be case sensitive. So just make sure uh, you using. Now go ahead uh, after the if our count uh, not equal to two i'm going to print usage dot slash caesar key backslash in all right and return one else i'm gonna go ahead and print if a bit maybe let's go just what i want to do here is i just want to test the program move this up here so before i even uh, carry on let me quickly compile it go ahead may caesar it compiles and then it says let's go all right uh i'm just gonna comment this is this is to check if this is one command line argument okay so that you guys can understand um else what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna go ahead and print f Okay, so I forgot my little curly brace there. And the make Caesar compile slash Caesar. Okay, it's a success, right? So, uh, in other words, the program is working so far. So, what I found easier is um, beforehand I used to code up the program. Okay, I used to code up the program from scratch, and uh, hopefully, and I, I used to cross my fingers and hope that I don't make a mistake. But you know what? We're human. We're gonna make mistakes no matter what. So so sometimes I feel like in C, what you can do is you can code up like the first section and quickly print it out to, uh, print it out to see if it's comp and quickly compile the, the first section to see if it's working properly. 
before moving onwards, before moving forward to the next section and that before it starts to get too complex and then when you're looking for your error you cannot find it or you're struggling to find your error and then it takes more of your time. So this is actually a better method. It's faster, it's more, uh, it's more economical and it saves you a lot of time. Um, I'm telling you now, it saves you a lot of time. So this is what I'm doing now. From now on, it's, I'm going to try and make it a habit. Uh, I'm going to try and make it part of my behavior. So, okay guys. Um, okay, let's move on. As you can see, I put Caesar make 13, right? Okay, I'm going to make Caesar again. I'm going to show you some. Make Caesar. What if I say dot slash Caesar? What do you think is going to happen? It says usage dot slash Caesar key. So, basically it rejects the key. So, I'm going to go ahead and then so we know now the program's running so let's move on okay case so the final clear the key to find the key sounds better but anyway um let's go ahead a string we're gonna take string key to the equal to r v e, i then we're gonna go ahead and check if it is an integer using a for loop and then we'll go ahead and check if the input is a integer so we're going to start off with the for we're going to use a for loop to do that so int uh, we're going to take int i is it equal to equal to zero i is smaller than berlin uh arc v for i and then we're going to increment i let's in the comments check if the input is a digit sounds better um and I'll show you why. If if is digit is not, uh, this is what the exclamation mark is for. If is digit is digit is not, mark v, is it one. Then what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna have go ahead and if you usage dot slash is a key backslash in, and then obviously return one. Then we're gonna go ahead and print if it's it good. Okay, let's go ahead. We're gonna compile the code just to see it's working. It says there are errors. Uh, constructor character star eight errors. Print if button success usage. Yeah, there's a little typo there. Printf. Such a short statement, there's so many. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think the errors, yeah. I don't really need these parentheses here. Yeah. This is not I, this is one. Uh, I'm looking for arc vector at index one. Um, I smaller than string length vector index one. Okay, but the rest is I think it's correct. Yeah, let's just compile. All right, so guys. So next we're gonna go ahead. Um, so we've done validate the key and uh, is a digit. Okay, so we've done number two, validate that the key is a digit. If true, print success and the key. If false, print usage dot slash Caesar. So I'm just quickly gonna compile it. Uh, cd told front forward slash pc2 slash caesar okay one mistake and there's one error all right false okay dot slash caesar usage key okay it does compile it's working all right let's get back to it okay i'm just gonna remove this uh we're gonna start off with the string plain text get string and because uh, that is number three prompt the user for plain text get the user's input okay so i got string plain text here get the user's input get string plain text uh next okay i'm gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and then print out the cipher text so characters should be rotated based on the key these characters are case sensitive so up or lower case and then i've got the formula over here right so this is not the original formula but i'll explain what's going on here 
we'll, let's start off um, the int. I'm gonna take int k, uh, take a toy, the key, and set it equal to k. Then we're gonna print uh, print out the cipher text, right? Then we're gonna start off next with the for loop, okay? So next off, we're gonna start off with the for loop just to check if this is a digit. This is to check if this is a digit. We converted the key to integer. This is to check if this is an integer. Then move forward. Okay, so this if this is to check if this is an integer. Okay, so then I'm gonna start with my uh then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna start with my conditionals. Okay, so I'm gonna take if is upper, if it's uppercase plain text for I, I'm gonna go ahead and print print if uh plain text minus 65 plus k mode 26 plus 65 now you must be th might be thinking whoa whoa now i'm lost where where did you get this all right okay you see i've got this formula over here so this is the formula that i'm going to use uh, within my conditional uh, to determine if to basically fetch the character that i want from the ascii chart right okay so let me head over I think that ask, there's an ASCII chart over here. I'm just going to put it in a separate window. Okay, yeah. Okay, right here. I'm going to mark it, right? Capital letters A. So the first letter of the alphabet, uh, capital letter A, is on the ASCII chart. It's number 65 on the ASCII chart, right? So then the next few letters up to Z is 90 from. So from 65, to 90 is the alphabet in uppercase right and then from 97 to 122 is the lo lowercase okay so in order for me to access this smaller case a i will need to use the 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 ascii number 97 right and then in order for me to access the uppercase a i need to use the ascii number number 65 right on the ASCII chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, right? So basically what I've done here is I've manipulated that very same formula, okay? This formula, yeah, okay? It was plus K, right? So basically what I've done now is I've manipulated it. It used to be CI, EI, plus K, root 26. That's the formula see okay so <clears throat> what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna take this formula i'm gonna manipulate it and if if i take away is uh, if i said ci equals to pi minus 65 the, the uppercase a of the alphabet right and uh, you deduct 65 yeah and then mode 26 and then you add 65 you're gonna get access to that exact letter a all right so the same is said for if you for instance want to go ahead and grab l on the ascii chart you just deduct 76 and then you add 76 and yeah don't forget to add because this is not the full equation right you have to add k okay and uh, plus in c you have to make sure that you add your parentheses uh, because yeah I don't know, these uh, IDEs and programming environments, they're very case sensitive. So person have to, has to just make sure and be careful. So I hope you guys got that. So that's what I did here, as you can see, exactly the same, yeah? So basically I've added just my parentheses. Yeah, another two sets of parentheses. Minus 65 plus Okay, mode 26 plus 65 comma right and then i just wrote you in the comments 65 gives you access well access to a on the ascii chart okay so i'm just gonna copy all of this right and then i'm gonna paste it below okay and i just changed this so what i did here was i just changed this to is lower from is upper i changed this to is lower right then uh, there I've got the formula 90, uh, number 97, the same as on the ASCII chart, number 97, the smaller case A. I've got access to the smaller case A. Okay. 
so okay so then let's move on uh then i'm gonna do else so i'll see if else print print c uh, comma plain text and then print a new line right after that just print a new line and then you're done that's it so okay so now we're going to check if it compiles all right so we already have uh, access to our directory we're just going to quickly make caesar okay, dot slash caesar okay, so it says usage key that's right it's supposed to say that let's just go and take for instance from here and i don't want to make the same mistake as last time because last time what i did was uh last time what i what i did was i i just checked once right okay i just checked once so all right compile again i'm gonna say dot 13 right i'm gonna copy that text that i took from cs50 dot slash 13 yeah okay uh, it's gonna prompt me for the plain text okay so i'm just gonna take that exact text so that you guys can see that's working okay so this is uppercase right yeah uppercase okay it's hello you are a yyb you are a yyb okay so now we're gonna test our code further we're gonna check the other cases so this case is uh dot slash caesar one right Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to take dot slash Caesar one and we're going to put uppercase hello. Okay, so let's try that out. Make Caesar uh, dot slash Caesar one. It's prompting me for the plain text uppercase hello. I F M M P. As you can see, that is accurate. We're going to try this one as well, the lower cases, just to make sure that our program is working with upper and lower case so what's that uh, dot slash 13 yeah okay dot slash 13 we copy that text over there copy copy pasta y r u r y y b j b e y q okay as you can see exactly right so that's perfect okay okay my program works 100 percent i'm gonna quickly submit it uh let me submit it because the last time i submitted my program and i only got 50 percent because i only checked it once and i thought that it was accurate but then i saw that there were actually that it it actually didn't it was actually not that accurate because if i'm not mistaken i only checked uppercase letters that's why so i forgot to check lowercase letters so then i just uploaded the video so i'm gonna leave the video my there i'm gonna leave it there for you guys to see my mistake it's okay that's cool i don't have an issue um we all make mistakes we're human that's it we're human you know the thing is do we learn from our mistakes that's the most important thing okay it says here go and see your results okay as you can see caesar 87 percent they have passed I've gotten my, over my 70%, it's fine. Um, the the styling or the indentation is not correct. And maybe I haven't put in enough comments. That's why there's some deduction of your, your percentages or your marks, right? So, okay. Main thing is just pass it. Make sure that you the programs work right. Um, but uh, indentation and being neat is also important. I mean, it's not as that important. Right, guys. I hope you like this video and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.